Welcome back to DXB Today. Now, when you're out and about shopping for your favorite fashion items, you could get a few knockoffs on the market. But the man who is going to stop that from happening is Nicola Ginn. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Now, you are an authenticator, obviously, and you are with yeah. the luxury closet. Yes. What is an authenticator? What do you do? It's an interesting question, actually, because there's actually no school for this. So my experience and my job, it's something made up out of curiosity obsession to some extent. Uh, I'm a very touchy person, so I really need to look and feel how the item looks like. And me and my team, which I train them, uh, we really check stitchings. We count them countlessly, oh. thousands of stitchings. <laughs> we check serial codes, we check materials, colors. And authenticity is a bit of an orchestra, so every instrument should play its own part to get the symphony. So whenever we get anything that it's not how it should be, we tend to stop there and just reject the item. Authenticity for the luxury closet, it's our pillar, our value, it's something that we will never compromise on. So uh, we really tend to uh, discourage the submission of fakes and there are a lot of things that we are doing and it's very cool. I, I love luxury fashion, uh, luxury closet. I've in fact owned a couple of pieces from there. You've brought a few pieces for us to look at, an Hermes bag and a Chanel. I wanted to ask you, you've been doing this obviously for quite yeah. some time. Are you at that place where you can look at a bag from a distance and spot if it's an original or a Yes. Fake? <laughs> so what would you say are some of the obvious telltales? Uh, I would say, um, Honestly, first, when a deal is too good to be true, yeah. it's not true. Yeah. And second of all, we really, mm, you really need to check the stamping of the brand. See if it's the metal, it's shining too much. Uh, if the metal parts, for example, in a Chanel bag from gold, it goes more toward that greenish one, most likely it's a fake. Mm. So of course, mm, this is something that you know as you said, but even with designer bags mm -hmm. sometimes, or even designer jewelry, the color can fade a lot of the times. Yeah, that's very true. Mm. I feel like the, the whole fashion system and even brands tends to lower a, lower a bit their standard of production nowadays because of, you know, just to boost production and introduce new pieces in the market every day. So it's getting even harder or sometimes easier to spot fakes. Mm. Luckily, we have gemstone experts, we have GIA experts in the team, we have people coming from production background. So all of this really helps to uh, build up the, the know-how at Trezor in-house. So, yeah, but it's funny because sometimes I go to dinners, you know, and I sit down with people I don't know. It's like, hi, how are you? What do you do? I'm a luxury authenticator. And you suddenly see people like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> hiding stuff under the table. Could you tell that these are not real Gucci? Uh, uh, yes, I can. How far away were you when you could realize that? From there. I mean, I, I could tell that I'm not even an authenticator. <laughs> she said that, I'm sorry. There's a picture of a deer on them. <laughs> well. <laughs> and following from that, uh, Nicola, just a question for you. Yeah. I feel like luxury brands, in particular Chanel and Hermes, mm -hmm. are becoming more and more unattainable in terms of cost. And I yeah. think that's a trend, like they just are doubling in price every year. Is that, yeah. is that the way it's going to go? Is that the way forward? They're going to become more and more? Or how do you know, how do the regular person? It's how definitely a strategy. Person? It's definitely a strategy and they play a lot with scarcity. So now you can get only one Hermes bag per year, but before having the access to that bag, you need to spend a countless amount of money. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, TLC really helps to short, a bit of a shortcut between you and your item. Uh, it might not be the same price, but at the same time, you get on the spot. And Chanel is doing the same, so it's all part of a big, big strategy where brands love to play, you know, mm -hmm. I'm exclusive, but at the same time, they need to understand that the market that they're used to deal with, it's changing, and the whole industry, it's for, for seeing a kind of reality check where sustainability needs to be there anyway. So uh, we are all part of this, and at the Luxury Closet, we really try to uh, make, uh, be, part, be part of the solution. So pre-loved is pre the way to go. Pre-loved is the way. Okay. If you think that by the end of 2027, pre-loved is expected to grow reaching $350 billion, because this needs to be, yeah. needs to be involved in automotive, in food, in fashion, in all segments. Mm -hmm. Agree. But you were mentioning earlier on about how the prices just keep skyrocketing yes. nowadays. But what would you say would be the best investment when it comes to luxury brands this 2024? I would say definitely uh, brands like Hermes and Chanel really holds the value. But when it comes to handbags, Hermes is the answer. Uh, the smaller the better, although trends for 2024 see big bags coming back again, 
if in the past three years mini bag were like the top of the top. Now big bags are coming back. Uh, Hermes is always a good investment. Or watches, of course watches. I mean, because a lot of people tend to buy pre-loved items predominantly because you think you'll get mm -hmm. a better price on them. Mm -hmm. But I've seen some items on your um, website which mm -hmm. are pre-loved, which are more or less the same price as the item in the store, if not more. How, do, okay. how Can you explain that to me? <laughs> well, if you think about it, you can get the same bag for, let's say, 9,000. Mm -hmm. But before having the access to that bag in store, you need to spend 24. Mm -hmm. So I can give you the same bag for 15 and you get it on the spot. So sometimes the shortcut really costs you money, but it saves money on the other side, because if you really want to play the Hermes game before buying a bag, you need to buy watches, jewelry, shoes, home. Would you really want to buy all of this? <laughs> yes, you might, and then you sell through the luxury closet, but then you don't get the bag on the spot, you know? <laughs> well, we know who to call in case we Definitely. need a little help with our luxury. Nicola, thank you so much for being thank here with you. us. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Right, Louis, I believe uh, it's your turn now to yes. quiz Irene. Ooh, oh Irene, I hope you're ready. We've got a little quiz for you, but you're going to love this because it's all about you. We want to find out Ooh. as much as we can about you in 60 oh my God, seconds. The pressure is Are on. you ready? I, I'm not sure if I'm ready, but I'm going to give it a go. Well, yes, you're going to enjoy this for sure. Your 60 seconds starts in three, two, one. Here we go. If you weren't in the fashion industry, where would you be working? Ooh, uh, in the air, air hostess. Oh. One fashion item you cannot live without. A blazer. Most used app on your phone. Instagram. This is a tough one. Your hidden gem in Dubai. Oh, I just found one. Le Suites oh. in Jumeirah, pre-loved boutique. If you could hang with someone for 24 hours, who would it be? Kate Middleton. <laughs> Top high street brand. Uh, hey, Chanel at the moment, loving them. Top high-end brand? Ooh, Chanel, Hermes. <laughs> if you could choose one superpower, what would it be? To be invisible. Really? Yeah, For someone so fashionable, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I just says, yeah. Or maybe to fly. <laughs> Your inspiration? Oh, like as a person or... I always love Jackie Onassis, Jackie O. I always think, what would Jackie do? Okay, <laughs> well, well, we'll have one last question for you. Why Dubai? It's just something in, I've been here 20 years and I feel like it's home, a home away from home, a home from, away from Ireland. But I, I just love everything about it, the opportunities, the, the people, the fact that we're all living in this amazing, you know, amazing bubble, but all living together just perfectly. Irene, thank you so much thank for you. being on DXV today. You've been wonderful. And thank a very so big happy birthday <laughs> to you. And thank you for spending oh, thank with you. us. I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Uh, happy birthday. <laughs> oh, no. Nicola, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, guys. Thank well. you so much. Thank you. Now, thank you. we do have an award-winning singer who is going to be right here in this studio. So you definitely don't want to go anywhere now. Stick around. It's DXV today.